Toffee, the local kid in this lineup out of Barnstable, Mass. There was an article written about him on the Cape League website a couple days ago. That one sent out to left field as well. Going back is Sanchez under it, and it bounces for a homer. That one looked like it hit the top of the fence, but it bounces out, and the local kid puts his team up one to nothing in the top of the first with two outs. And Sheets cranks one. It's back, deep to right field, off the wall. Bartosik's gonna score from third. Running around is Robbie Metz. The cutoff throw to home plate is not in time. And a two RBI single for Gavin Sheets. The Gatemen take the lead two to one. Holman shakes off a couple pitches. He's ready. He delivers the three two. Swing and a miss by Shaver. The throw down to second base as Sheets went, and that ball squibs out to center field, and that will allow Joey Bart to come home and score. And the third run of the inning here for the Gateman. They lead it 3-1. to one. So two balls and no strikes to Robbie Metz, the second baseman. Singled and came around to score back in the first. The 2-0 is sent out to left field. Going back is Stafford, and that one is gone. Robbie Metz pulling one down the left field line. Add two more, five to one, Gateman. So swinging a very hot bat right now. Two one pitch, cracked to short. Giratano keeps it in front. And a throw across the diamond in time. But Stafford scores from third and the lead for Wareham at five to two. Unforced air there by Dominic Marolio. Allows a run to cross here for YD in the fourth. And the one two upcoming. Hit on the ground to the left side. And in between the shortstop, Muno, and the third baseman, Battisol, and it's into left field. Mets driving home Sanchez. And the sixth run of the game crosses the plate for Wareham. No balls and two strikes. Here comes Kanine. This ball sent out to deep left field. Sanchez on the run. He's at the warning track. He leaps. Did he catch it? He did. What a play, Ezekiel Sanchez. What an impression he's made in his first start today for Wareham. Oh my goodness, Jacob Toby. Morolio lines up on the outside. Instead of it's, it's a fastball, hit out to right field. Gavin Sheets on the run, and it'll drop for extra bases. One run scores, it's Muno. Here comes Toffee as well. The throw will be cut off by Shaver. It's a two RBI double for Dion Stafford, and Wareham's lead cut to two. Juan Hannan seems to be the consensus, but. Breaking ball, hit out to the right center gap. Bartosik giving it a chase, and it's off the base of the wall. Juan Hannan scores from second, Persinger into second. An RBI double, Wareham's lead now cut to one, it's six to five. Shaver takes his lead over on first. 0-2 pitch, squibbed out to shallow center field. Brown got a late break on it, and he watches it bounce in front of him. From third, Gavin Sheets. And Dominic Morolio has his first hit of the season for Wareham. And now the lead back to two runs. It's 7-5. to five. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Kukta's breaking ball is chopped high. A leap by the third baseman, Muno, and a dive by Batesel. He prevents it from getting to the outfield, which saves one run. But Shaver comes home from third and scores. Grand Prix drives him in on the infield single, 8-5 to five Wareham. Double play depth now for the middle infield. Sanchez gives one a ride out to center field. Brown heading back, and he reaches over his shoulder to put it away. Marolio tags from third and scores easily. It's a sack fly for Ezekiel Sanchez. Continuing to put together a fantastic performance. You're going to blink, and next thing you know, he's going to be the player of the game. Here's the payoff pitch. Bartosik lines one out to shallow center field. Brown on the run, and he watches it drop in front. So Bartosik delivers his third hit of the game. Grand Prix comes in to score, and Wareham has just put up double-digit runs. It's 10 to 5. Shaver, look at this baby go. Deep to left field. See ya.
Colton Shaver goes bye-bye, baby. And the lead for Wareham at six runs, 11 to five. Hey folks, you are currently witnessing a lightning delay here at Spillane Field for our falling number of viewers, 34 of you now. We are still awaiting official confirmation as to whether or not this game will either resume or be called right here and there. Oh, we've, we have thrown pace of play out the window with this one. And Scott Pickler, Jerry Weinstein shaking it out. Was it a sarcastic handshake or not? Whitey players are starting to move their way to the dugout, and that's going to be it. What a great way to end this day. <laughs> so this, so this is what happens, okay? After the, <laughs> after the top of the seventh, the game gets called due to lightning. We wait an hour. We come back. We play, what do we play, an inning and a half? And they call it again because of lightning. Yeah, not, not even. Well, yeah, I guess we played an inning, inning and two-thirds. Here's how I'm going to end this in my scorebook. I don't even know. After dude. Giratano's single and Grand Prix's box, I'm going to write, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you this actually was, do that. I might as well. This was one of the more interesting games that I've ever been a part of any capacity, playing, broadcasting, working. This is the type of game and story that you're going to tell your grandkids about. <laughs>